Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today I'm reacting to a new K-pop group. So thus far I've reacted to Mamamoo. I've also reacted to Blackpink, I believe on one occasion. Today I am reacting to Red Velvet performing their song Psycho. So let's let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into perhaps a little more rap, I don't know who is what in this particular group just yet, and I don't know their names, so I'm really sorry. I'm probably going to be identifying them by their clothes. Let's start with the first girl. Something I found interesting about the way that she chooses to sing is it sounds like her soft palate is down, which means a little bit more of it tends to come through the nose. This isn't affecting her ability to obviously sing with intonation. And I know that there's a lot of controversy over different K-pop groups using track or not singing live or like basically relying on electronic enhancement. And it doesn't sound like that in this particular case at all. And quite clearly hear the timbre of her sound coming through. It's a little bit nasalized, but the only reason I'm commenting on the soft palette is because at times it sounds like the vowel work is getting a little bit stuck. Obviously that's not affecting how the sound is actually coming out and she's still singing on time in tune. So, you know, it's, it's really not a big deal, but it does mean that there's that difference in timbre between her and when we get to, I think it was this girl. <laughs> That girl there, the one in like the, the plaid or check or whatever you want to call it, Kurt. Her vowel work, if you listen to the difference between the, her and the first girl that I pointed out, her vowel work is a lot more free, so you get significant differences in timbre between the two singers. That is really interesting because it means that despite the fact that they're all singing and sharing in the melody, you can quite clearly hear a difference between those singers there. They don't sound exactly the same. And even this girl here, who I was just going to, it almost sounded like there was auto-tune on that one, but I actually think it might have just been a line that was coming through on the track underneath her that was like sort of confusing my ears. So I'd like to listen to that again, I think. Like there, that particular line there, but I think it's actually just a track on this. Yeah, so I think she's actually, she's singing, but there's like another thing that's got a little bit more of an electronic effect going on underneath. And in that particular moment, the levels of the track and her voice just happen to be exactly the same. So yeah, it's, it means that you can definitely hear a distinct difference between the singers. Now we get to this one who, you know, looks like she could be like a beautiful little snow fairy. She's hitting those high notes and she's hitting them like smack bang in the middle. If she didn't have range, those notes would probably be a little bit more of a challenge. I wonder where she's going up to. Let me just look at that. You got me feeling like a psycho, psycho. Uri bogo mare jaku, jaku. The sheer burst the sound I got on. But to that in my mind, you hang on and then. Okay, don't tell me the psycho, psycho. 
fairly light setup, actually. I'm going to say that she's in second. Okay. She's using a much lighter mechanism. As you're getting that contrast with the chorus that's bulked out with all their voices, and then she's softly over the top. It sounds like a second register, and she's hitting the notes right in the middle. And then you get a little bit of vibrato on, on the second note as she comes down. It sounds really cool. Oh. Mm, okay, it's actually interesting because her soft palette, I, I do think her soft palette is down just because of where the placement is coming through. It reminds me of certain popular Indian singers because they also have that bright quality as they move through their melismas because as you know, if you listen to any really popular Indian vocalists, they got the runs down. They can, they use microtones, they do all of this and it gives it a particular flavor or texture to the music that's really, really cool. So if, if we listen to that again, we'll hear just a touch of that in there and it wouldn't be possible if she wasn't sending some of the sound through her nose. So that's cool. Mm. You got me feeling like a psycho, psycho. We're both on a tattoo, tattoo. The sound of the sound that got me hooked on the needle, my heart. I can't get it. I'm scared to end it. I'm just psycho, psycho. So much I want to be a bubble, bubble. No one can stop me. I'm just a human being. Two years have passed. Hey, love you, okay. Beautiful. Oh gosh. Sorry. It's the snow fairy for me, guys. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So one thing that I did want to talk about was this English bit here. The hey now will be okay. The rhythm that they're doing that on. The way that they're choosing to connect the words through there does mean that it sounds a little bit squishy articulation wise, just from my perspective. So like being able to say that really, really quickly, you need to be able to move between this like this n to w l b. So this, there's a constant change between where the sound is having to sit, where the consonant is going to demand that the sound comes from. So, you know, I think that they did all right with that. Like, if you have the lyric there, it's quite easy to interpret that as what they're intending to sound like. But you know what? I'm reading the lyric close, close enough. It's tricky, okay? Particularly with some sounds that are hard to navigate. So, I mean, for me, Korean is so tricky articulation wise. I don't think I could ever sing a song in Korean and have it sound like 
to like a native standard. I just, eh. anyway, so I'm going to, I'm going to leave that one alone, but I did just want to point it out that, you know, what they're having to do in that particular line is not necessarily the easiest line in English to have to move through in that particular rhythm. So I just wanted to mention that, but yeah, this beautiful little snow fairy here, she to me demonstrates the greatest amount of range in this particular song. And I don't mean range as in just the height, but also the ease of access. So the first girl who sang, who I pointed out initially, she's in like the tan coat. She is probably the next one that was demonstrating range in this particular song. And it still sounded good, but the timbral differences mean that I naturally incline a little bit more towards Miss Snow Fairy, just because her vowels are so open and the way she approaches her phrasing is so connected and you get more timbral shifts. The girl in the check coat seemed like she was having a really, really fun time with this particular song. We got some giggles in there. So obviously, you know, it's coming through live. I do think that with uh, songs like this, obviously there can be editing done in post. So I can't really comment on that because I don't know what they've done. It's, it's obvious that they were singing this one live for their fans that were in front of them. I think that's super, super cute. But yeah, I can't really comment on any production elements because I haven't listened to them before. So I don't know how extreme their particular company goes on the editing side as far as like voice changes and what they have to do to make the vocalist sound stable or solid. So from this, knowing that, you know what, yeah, they could have been editing done after they filmed this before they uploaded it. It sounds like they're all fairly stable vocalists, which is really cool to hear because as we've had in other conversations, sometimes the focus for particular groups isn't vocals. A lot of the times it might just be dancing or dancing and visuals and then the vocals are just an added little thing in there. You know, each K-pop group kind of has their strengths. If you look at Mamamoo, they're vocal powerhouses. So, you know, they, to me, stand out as a vocal group. They are four people who are professional vocalists and they sing to a very high standard so I would be keen to check out more of these girls and just see what else they have in there because each of them brings something slightly different timbre wise but also approach wise to how they did their solos you have someone who's a little more direct with their solo like this girl who's in the tan coat and then you have someone who's a little bit more relaxed with their approach like the girl in the check coat I'd be keen to hear what the other girl who had like that electronic line running under her voice what she would sound like if she didn't have that there there was an extra line there but I noticed again they had something running under her voice uh, when she was doing her solo so I don't know what that's about this was a very pleasant song to listen to I don't know what it's about I mean the, it's called Psycho so maybe the content of the song isn't that you know feel good but I thought the song was really catchy beat wise and the only thing that I would probably add is if you have people who are strong vocalists in your group there are how many were there how many of them are there one, two, three, four, five. If you have five vocalists and they're all fairly stable, I probably would have liked a little bit more uh, arranging to kind of cater to maybe some different vocal lines because you basically had Snow Fairy and the one in the tan coat carrying any of the ad-libbing or like the uh, more interesting vocal flavors, if you will. They are the ones that did a lot of the ad-libbing and they're the ones that did a lot of the runs and sort of moving through their voice in a way that stands out. So maybe those are their primary vocalists though, so... I don't know enough to comment any further, but it would be cool if they've got five stable vocalists to see a little bit more from the vocals in the arrangement because they've got this chorus that's an absolute bop. Overall, super sweet song, so catchy. I'd be definitely keen to check out some other stuff that they do just to see what else they're capable of voice-wise and maybe even performance-wise because obviously here they're in a laid-back setting, so I can't really comment on the performance. They seem to be having fun and enjoying the song and interacting with their fans, so... That's really cool to see. Anyways, that is it from me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, click the subscribe button and the bell notification beside it for more just like this one. As usual, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy and I will see you next time. Bye. I'm not going to be